Hey everyone, Dan Abreu here. In this video, I'll take you through the process of creating and recording an audio track in Pro Tools. Now this is really basic stuff, but if you're new to Pro Tools, this will give you a pretty good idea of how the recording process works. So I've created a new session here. It's a blank session, so there are no tracks, no buses. And the first thing you'll want to do is to create a new track. And there are a couple of ways to do this. You can go up to track and select new, or you can use keyboard shortcut command shift N, and that brings up the new tracks window. So here we'll create one track, uh, make it a mono track and an audio track. So that track is now created. Now before you record anything, there are a couple of things that you definitely want to check out. First, if you go to the upper left corner, you'll find the edit window view selector. Now this is really important because in here you can choose all of the things that you want to see in the window and all the things that you want to hide. So I like to see IO, so I'm going to select that. It'll add IO right to this window. Now there's easy access to your routing. So we'll go in there to the inputs and I know that my microphone is in channel eight. So I'll select channel eight and the output's going to the master bus, which is fine. Now one other thing you'll wanna do before you record is to name your tracks. And this is because Pro Tools will create a region for the recording based on the track name. So if you have a region called Audio 1, it's uh, not going to mean much to you, especially if you're parsing through a long regions list at some point. So let's rename this Vocal 1. And now you're ready to record. Now, in order to record on a track, you first have to enable it. And to do that, look for the red Record Enable button on the track. It'll blink to tell you that it's enabled. And that also activates the meters on that track so you can check your levels. Next step is to actually start the recording. Now you can do that a couple of ways too. Uh, if you go up to the master record enable button, you can select that and hit the space bar. Or you can use uh, keyboard shortcut command space bar, which is what I generally like to do. So let's do that. And we've now started our recording. And we can see the waveform drawing, so we know that it's actually recording. Hit the space bar again to stop the recording. And that's done. Now, if you look in your regions list, you can see a region called Vocal 1, which matches our track name. And that's all there is to it. We'll take a look at some other types of tracks in future videos. Happy recording.